And I opened the door and I could see through the window a uniformed officer and I knew something terrible had happened. That something terrible was an SUV crossing the center line on Route 5 in East Hampton. It slammed into the motorcycle carrying Iris McGrath's ex-husband and daughter. Ed was 62, Brittany had just turned 29. Was she scared? Like, did she know? Did she see the car coming? <laughs> the family's grief soon compounded by horrifying detail. The SUV driver and his girlfriend had been shooting up heroin. When one would start to nod off, the other would take the wheel. James Ainsworth was so disoriented, he had no idea he had just run over two people. Witnesses say he lit a cigarette and said, the curb woke me up. I, I just, I, I don't even know how to imagine it. To know that you're both nodding out behind the wheel and nowhere in your diseased brain can you think, God, we should probably pull over. Nine one one to call. What's your emergency? He's, he's in traffic, but he's out. He, he's totally out. People are banging on the window. He's gonna hit that barrier. He just hit the barrier. Drug driving is a growing problem. According to federal data, nearly a third of fatal crashes in Massachusetts involve drugs. Drug driving citations have jumped nearly 225 percent. A lot of times police officers on the street feel like they're spinning the tires. And Walpole yeah, Chief John Carmichael really says police don't have the tools they need. The state doesn't have an approved roadside drug test, and if a suspected drunk driver refuses a breathalyzer, they automatically lose their license for six months. But if a driver refuses a drug evaluation, there is no penalty. We're one of only four states to allow that to happen. Word spreads, people know. Are we prepared for what's to come down the road, so to speak? Well, probably not. Senator Jason Lewis is chair of the Special Senate Committee on Marijuana. It deserves more attention um, here in Massachusetts, uh, frankly, from the legislature and, and from Governor Baker than it's getting right now. Last year, Governor Charlie Baker, who declined to be interviewed for this story, signed sweeping opioid legislation into law. The focus was on addiction and recovery, while drug driving bills have stalled on Beacon Hill. Your rhetoric is just rhetoric. We need to see results. I'm on my knees on the floor of the universe. Just mercy.